Hello everyone! Today you're going to see possibly one of the only rainbow loom tutorials I'm going to do and that's making these really cute butterflies. You don't need a loom at all, you only need a hook. I've just made mine into a hair clip and a brooch because I think it's super cute. So you're going to need your hook, you're going to need four different colours, four bands of four different colours, a hair clip and a pin if that's what you want to do with it, and a hot glue gun. So if you just, just take your body colour and twist that onto your hook three times so you've got three loops on there now take another band of the same colour and you're just going to slide those three loops onto that other band and then I drop it because I'm really smooth and then I'm just going to pull one loop of that band through the other loop to make a slip knot or a lark's head knot whichever you prefer to call it and I'm just slipping those three loops back onto my hook and doing the same with another band of the same colour. So, pulling those three onto there and looping one end of the band through the other and pulling and giving it a bit of a wiggle. And we're just going to pop that to the side because we don't need it right now. We shall start to make the wings. That's what it's meant to look like giving a very in-depth demonstration. So for the, you just decide which part you want the twiddly bit on the edges of the wings to be and which bit you want the actual wing to be. So the purple bit's my twiddly bit. I'm just twisting that on my hook three times like you did with the head. Then I'm grabbing two bands, one of each colour that I want for the wings and I'm sliding those three bands, or three loops, onto the two bands and hooking it back on my hook and just leaving it there for the time being and then I'm doing it again one, two, three two bands and looping the three loops onto the two bands off camera because I'm very good and yes, you just do that so you've got a total of four wings. So that's two wings just there. So this next bit I've sped up. But you can always go back and rewind if you need to. Now have a look at how to do it if you would like to follow it each time. So I'd make it a bit quicker for you. And there we go. There's the four wings on the hook. All ready to go. So you just need to take your body back. So you actually need that now. And then you're going to slide each wing onto the body one by one. Take your time. We don't want them going everywhere. There's one, two, and then there's three, and four. Now this bit I bungled a little bit. Um, so you just pop your hook through the head. Sounds a bit morbid, doesn't it? And you're just looping your head through the other loop of the body making another slip knot slash lark's head and give it a bit, bit of a wiggle. Now you can just leave it like that but I'm going to add a bit more body to it. So just underneath the head there will be a small small slip in the bands. You just pop your hook into there which um, I promise is easier than I've made it look. It's difficult to film with a camera in your way difficult to craft even with the camera in your way and then you pick up the other band like so pull them through I'm so butter fingers in this video I'm so sorry pull them through and what you're going to do is you're going to loop this band around to the bottom of the wings and pop it on your hook and then once again you're going to pull one hook one loop through the other loop even can't speak anymore and give it a bit of a wiggle then your butterfly has a bottom and then you can just sort of fiddle around with it and try and make the bands behave yourself now if you'd like to use this butterfly as a charm by all means leave it like this um, but I, as I'm going to stick it onto things I'm going to go grab a pair of scissors Ta -da! so I'm going to chop that top loop in half like that and then I'm just going to tie a knot at the top of each of them so it's that little blubbly bit on the top of the antenna. You know the bit I mean. Little blobbly bit. You know. 
Don't forget me. I'm not a scientist. I studied languages at uni, not animals. Or insects, even. There's me just fiddling with the bottom of it, trying to make it sit straight. Then, you grab your glue gun. And you make sure you have parental supervision. And you stick your creation onto the hair clip. Or brooch. I found with the brooch the easier way to do it, instead of applying the glue to the brooch itself, was to apply it, a quite generous blob, onto the thing. And that's why I have parental supervision. I burnt myself. Be careful, hot glue guns are really hot. So there we have it. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate your support. Hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Everyone is welcome at the corner of craft. And if you've decided to make this DIY, post a picture of it to Instagram with the hashtag the corner of craft for the chance to be featured at the end of a future video. See you next time. Bye.